Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to create a chatbot flow with you guys and we're going to make it cool. We're going to deliver our lead magnet or could be a PDF or could be a link or a video or audio form directly to your audience via chatbot. The reason I want to use in the chatbot, number one, is really cool. Number two, going to have a really high engagement with your audience, okay? In terms of open rate, click through rate. If you do like the video, definitely subscribe to the channel so I can create some more similar content for you guys. This is roughly the flow, how it looks like. You know, there's a button of tap to download and they click on it. We grab their name, their email address and agree to send email to them and bam, and just deliver the PDF directly. This is a messenger inbox and we're also going to send a copy to them in the email so they can save this link for any future reference without further ado let's build it together so number one come to your menu chat we're going to do a flow and we're going to create a new flow lead magnet delivery and create okay so first thing we're going to give them a welcome message right warm them up a little bit the way i do it is just a two line welcome first name and tap the button below to get the pdf straight to your email inbox and then we're going to create on card and then just load up on your image by clicking on this icon and then load up on your image. This is a really crucial step because your image has to be presentable. It has to be attractive. Your viewer will be motivated to click on the button and download it. You guys get the point. My title will be PDF 2020 exclusive training guide. This is just a sample PDF for you. So in here, we're going to add a few description or highlight of your lead magnet and why people should download it, right? You can definitely uh, include provides yourself here we're gonna add a button and this button we're going to add emoji and a space and tap to download so in this case i capitalized the download button so right after here we're going to do a first step and we're just going to ask their first name or full name we're going to drag and drop and we're going to create a new message in this message we're going to say could you tap to confirm your full name so all they need have to do is we're going to create a quick reply or a blue bubble and then here we're going to click on this icon. We're going to load up their either first name or full name. Okay, I'm going to do first name, not the full name. So could you tap to confirm your full name? And then make sure you guys stick to the end of this video because there are a whole bunch of optimization. I added to this flow as a bonus section and you guys are gonna pick up tons of tips and tricks there. Could you tap to confirm your full name? They're going to click on this and tap on it to confirm and we're going to trigger the next message. The next message is going to be a user input. You have to have a Messenger Pro account in order to use this feature. Just click on it and I'm going to delete the first one. I'm going to enter a question, which is going to be, what is your email address? And then let's come to the setting. First thing we're gonna change is, we're gonna change from text to email. Make sure this is an email user input field. So we're going to save this email address to system field. If they typing an invalid email address, is going to be this line default line and the next box is going to be empty so there's no skip button here at all so when you've done that and we're going to click on continue to another step just enter your message here i'm going to say in order to send a pdf to your email please click i agree to confirm to receive email from us going to be two buttons number one is going to be i agree and then second button will be i do not agree just give them an option to click on will respond accordingly and uh, if they click on agree click on uh, send message there's other optimizations such as action and tagging them i'm going to do them at the end just to simplify the whole for some of you are beginners right in here we're going to say perfect I just sent the PDF to your email. Make sure you check your inbox or spam folder because sometimes the email goes into the spam, right? And then what we do is we're gonna deliver the PDF first. Load up the same image and it's going to be the same title. Going to copy this title. I'm going to leave the subtitle empty for now, but you can always decorate it a little bit, right? You can add an emoji. Let's, add, let's do add emoji. So it's going to be the screen emoji. Make a space in between. Now this button is going to link to the PDF. So in this case, I'm using Google Drive. It's completely free. So use your preference, whatever you upload it or your hosting platform is. I'm going to upload it here. Right click on my Google Drive and click on gear shareable link make sure this is turned on and uh, grab this link and I can always double check on my sharing settings anyone with a link in view and I'm gonna copy this link come back to my many chat click on this button 
open website and paste the link here. So now by clicking on this button, they are able to view the PDF or the lead magnet inside of their Messenger app. What do we do here is we're going to create a hidden step that they are not going to see, but they are going to experience is creating a continue to the next step. And then instead of new message, we're going to send email. So I just decorated this email a little bit. Make sure you put on a nice subject line. You know, here's a PDF or emoji. And then uh, we have a little header, always decorated. And then just leave it a button here and we'll change the text to download and paste exact link here. So in this case, people have a download a button here in their email. This is in their email and they can save it in their email. So for those who clicked on, I do not agree. And we're going to generate a line to them. We're going to say, unfortunately, I will not be able to send you the PDF, but you can still view it here. In that case, we're still delivering the PDF inside of Facebook Messenger, but we just don't have the permission to send to their email yet. So again, unfortunately, I won't be able to send you, but here you go, you can view it and they click on view. And now we have a second button is send a copy of email, you know, give them this option because they view the PDF. If they really enjoyed it and they liked it, they can use this feature. You can send it to them by email. You hold on option key on your keyboard. You drag and drop this message. I can create a duplicate and then I'm just going to link this button to this message, letting them to receive this line one more time now, because earlier they clicked on, I do not agree. Now, if they clicked on send a copy to email, we are still asking for permission to send to their email address. If they do click on agree, we're going to send this message, say a copy of this PDF has been delivered. Make sure you check your inbox or spam folder because sometimes it goes to a spam. And then we're going to make sure your continue to next step is clicked on and then just link it to this email we created earlier, just like that by holding this dot connect to the next one. And then if they say, I do not agree, we're going to say, sorry, I won't be able to send unless you agree. Now this simple flow is done. Okay. There's a few optimization we're going to do, but before that, I'm going to preview my message. So let's see how it looks like. So welcome, tap this button and to download, if I click on this button, it's going to ask my first name. I just need to tap on it. That's why Messenger is so cool. You're literally tapping the information. I'm going to tap and it's going to say, do you agree or do not agree? I agree. And then perfect. Send a PDF to their email address and then check their spam and then view PDF. So the first thing I got this email already. Let me click on this email to make it open. So this is how it looks like with the image and the button, this is linked to the Google Drive, right? So if I come back to Messenger, if I click on view PDF, it's going to open the browser and you can view the PDF inside of this browser. So if you stick to this point, I'm going to touch on a few important things. You're going to pick up a whole bunch of tips and tricks here. So the first thing, very important thing is we're going to tag them. And if they click on, I agree. And between I agree and this delivery, we're going to create a new action step and I'm just going to link it back to the message. And this action step will be because they click on I agree. There's two things. Number one, we're going to tag them. You can name any language you want to use. But in this case, I just did lead magnet delivered. It makes sense in this delivery, right? And in the future, you can check how many delivery you did. And then the second important, the most important one will be scroll all the way down set email opt-in because they click on I agree. So they agreed to opt in to our email. This is very important is because later on we can send subscriber email and then bring them back to our chat bot. This will be very useful in the future. You will see what I'm talking about. They click on I do not agree. We're going to add an option step in these two between. Okay, action. And I'm going to link this dot back to this message and click on tag and it's going to be the same tag as this one because we both deliver to them. One of them has an email delivered. The other one doesn't not yet unless they click on agree one more time, right? I'm going to hold on option, drag and drop this action and then drop it here. I'm creating a duplicate. If they click on I agree, they're opting to our sequence, but we're not going to tag them because we already did. So we're just going to delete that line. We're going to keep 
set email opt-in because these group of people click on I do not agree they still are able to view it but they haven't agreed to opt-in yet make sense and now second touch I can do is I can if I click on my email I'm going to tag on this button so later on I can track to see how many people clicked on specific button so I'm going to add a tag so there's a few ways you can do you can create a date some people do date based some people do type based you can do like email and you can do the name of your PDF or the lead magnets name so in this case I'm going to do email download button clicked add a new tag and now these are all tagged so in the future I know how many people clicked on it right and now there's one more thing I can do here since I tagged them so I can customize the welcome message here meaning there's a really cool trick we can do is I'm going to break this line by creating a condition and in the condition I'm going to choose tag and the tag is lead magnet delivered if this tag isn't lead magnet delivered it's going to experience like a brand new flow like a brand new person just came in he's going to experience everything once like this and then if this is person that coming here click on here again so what do we do here is going to we're going to customize a message so this is why the chatbot is so powerful because we can customize the language to fit their situation right so here we're going to type in i can see that he already received this pdf here it is so we're going to deliver, click on continue to another step. And I'm going to hold on option again, drag and drop one of these and drop it here. And I'm going to link it to this specific message. And now this send a copy to email is optional now, right? So what do we do is very simple. We're going to create another condition. So this condition, we're going to see if email opt-in is true or false. If it's true, meaning this person agreed to our email opt-in, then we can freely send them email. If this person has not yet agreed, then we're going to go into link this no to the message right here. Um, in order to send a PDF to your email, click on I agree. If they click on I agree, we're going to say a copy has been sent to your email and then they will receive the email here. And then if here, if they clicked on it, they are already opting, they already opting to your email. We're going to link them to this specific message here. Say a copy of the email has been sent to your email. Make sure you check your inbox or spam folder. So now they will receive this email one more time, right? So now this flow is completely optimized. After we collect their email address, okay, we can bounce it to a sheet. There's two ways to do it. There's a two ways you can do it. The first way is if you click on automation, if you come to your rules, you can create a rule that every time you collect an email address, automatically bounce it to a Google Sheet. The reason we use Google Sheet here is because if you lost your account or anything happened, all your emails collected are safe and have a backup, right? And you can load them up on any sort of platform or email marketing tools. One of these actions, when they click on I agree, we can simply click on this action. We're going to add a new action step and then come to your Google Sheet action. This is only open for pro account. So make sure you have a pro account and make sure you come to your settings. Number one, if you want to send an email, make sure your email is enabled and your contact information is complete and entered. That way, ManyChat is allowed to send any email to your subscribers. Number two is you come to your integration and then you can connect your Google Sheet account with your ManyChat. And this way, we're going to bounce it to a sheet. So I already created this sheet called it Emails Collected with a time and date, user ID, first name, last name, gender, email, time zone, all this information. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on action, scroll down, Google Sheet action, and then we're going to insert role. And then it's going to select the email sheet we created. And then worksheet is the tab, the bottom tab. So this is going to be sheet one. And then it's going to load up all the columns. We're simply going to pick the field to print it on this specific column. So for time and date, I'm going to do last interaction, time and date. 
and then user ID is going to be user ID on the system, first name and last name, gender, email, and then time zone is populated by Facebook or ManyChat. And th this way, click on save. So every time if a person clicked on agree, a role will be inserted on your Google Sheet. Same rule apply here. If this person clicked on I do not agree earlier and then later on he clicked on I agree again, we're going to copy paste. I'm going to delete this one. We're going to use this Google Sheet action one more time. And then I don't have to tag them here because I tagged them earlier. I'm going to click on preview and load up my phone. So the welcome message is, hey, welcome. Tap here below an image and headline and some of the description. And now I'm going to click on tap to download. It's going to ask my first name. I'm going to tap to confirm. What's my email address? Tap to confirm. And then in order to send the PDF, I need to agree. I click on agree. Perfect. I just send a PDF to your email. Make sure you can check it. So now I can view the PDF. So I have an email just came in. I'm going to view the email. Looks like this with a download button. Switch it back to my messenger. I can view the PDF and this is a Google Drive link. So everything is working perfectly. So one last touch we're going to do is we're going to generate a link to link to that specific flow. The way we do it is just come to your growth tool. Okay, first tap wedges and come to a new growth tool. And we're going to use in this case, you can use QR scan, meaning people can scan on their phone to download a specific PDF, right? But in this case, we're going to do messenger rough URL. So what this does is it's going to generate a link. We're going to replace the flow to lead magnet delivery. Make sure you save that specific flow so you are able to select this flow here. Click on it, click on next. You are able to customize the URL. Here we can say free PDF download. And then that's it and click on save. Now this link, we can use it on our YouTube, social media, email, anywhere you can paste the link here so people will be able to experience and download and grab their lead magnet here so this is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do enjoy it definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future content and drop some comments below let me know how you're liking these tutorials if you do enjoy them i will slowly drop some more for you guys okay take care guys until the next one